Hey guys, in this video I want to show you one of the new features of 18.5 DaVinci Resolve for the iPad and also for the desktop. And this is one of the features that they changed in the cut page. So the difference between the cut page and the edit page, so basically here this is the cut page and this is the edit page, the cut page has a so-called magnetic timeline. What does it mean? If I, for example, delete anything here in between, it will automatically close the gaps and this is can make your editing faster this is one of the advantages of the cut page but sometimes especially because on the iPad the cut page is the main page is officially released I mean we have the edit page and I made a video how you can unlock all of the other pages right and I personally I still edit a lot in the edit page because there's a couple of functions that make the edit page cool but there are more and more options like for example in my video two days ago when I showed you how you can do J and L cuts here in the cut page there are more and more functions that are coming to the cut page that makes the cut page more easier. And one of the functions that I wanna show you today is this little icon here. So what this little icon is, is basically turning on and off this magnetic timeline thing. So if I turn this off and now I delete something here, you will see I have just a gap, an open thing. So I can start now here grabbing stuff and changing like in the edit page. So for all the people who always wanted to have that, now you can have this. Or you can always activate the magnetic timeline and when you then start, doing stuff, it will be back to the magnetic timeline. Super simple hack, but many people maybe don't know this yet. You can have this now, and it's also here on DaVinci Resolve for the iPad. If you like DaVinci Resolve for the iPad and you wanna know more about DaVinci Resolve for the iPad, consider the masterclass that we have from beginner to advanced. We are just about to go to the new Course Creator Pro thing. I'm testing the payment systems already in the background. And I think the next steps is that I will invite a couple of the current students to the new platform. But I hope that I can release everything next week so that we can make the launch to the new platform. And then also we will change the price and we will go out of beta into the, yeah, the early finished product. Okay. Um, oh yeah, and one more thing about this, it's not done yet. I still have so much more that I wanna do with the DaVinci Resolve Masterclass. There is so much more content that will come on the pipeline that will come into the, yeah, I will make a separate video about this and talking about this. Anyway, I wish you an amazing day. If you like this video, hit like, subscribe, ding-a-ding-a-ding-a-bang-bang-gong. We see us in the next video. I'm Daniel, bye.